Hello there. So why is your Java program returning a message saying array index out of bound? If you're watching this video, my guess is that you start learning Java and that you are learning to work with collections like arrays and lists. And you probably have written a program using an array or a list. However, when you try to run it, you get this weird error. In this video, I will explain you what this error means and how to fix it. So you can continue working on your Java programs and keep building your programming skills. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's see how this tutorial is going to be organized. First, I will briefly explain what is causing the array index out of bound error. Um, you might be thinking, why does this matter? I think it is very important to understand why this error happens because the better you understand it, the easier it will be for you to prevent it in the future. And next we will see code examples with this error and we will see how to fix each of them. So perfect, let's start. So what is causing the error array index out of bound? This error will happen when you are working with an array or a list and you are using an index to access one of the items in the list or in the array. If the index you are using doesn't exist, then your program will return this error. So let's see an example. For instance, let's imagine that you have an array with four elements. Um, you can visualize the array as a set of boxes and every box has a label which is representing the index. It's important to note that collections like arrays and lists always start by zero in Java. So if you want to access what's inside the first box, you will say box and then index number zero, so index zero. And if you want to access the second box, you will say box and index 1, and so on. But what if your program tries to access box with label 7? Well, this box doesn't exist, so you will get the array index out of bound exception. So in other words, if you try to access an item that doesn't exist in the list or array, you will get the error. Let's see a simple example in Java. So here I have created an array that contains strings and each string is a different fruit. So the valid indices here are 0, 1 and 2. So what happens if I try to access item number 4? I'm sure you know by now. So let's run this and Exactly, I got an error because I'm using an invalid index. And one thing to note here is that although the errors say array, if you were working with a list, you will get exactly the same error. Perfect, so now that we understand the error, let's see some practical examples of how to fix it. Usually beginners will encounter this error when they are working with loops. So when you are working with a loop, it's important to make sure that the stopping condition is valid and the index doesn't go beyond the array limit. In other words, the index should be valid in all the In other words, the index should be valid in every iteration. So it shouldn't try to access an item that doesn't exist. So let's have a look at the following code snippet. So here we have a list and then we have a loop to print every item of the list. So it looks okay, so let's run it and we get the error. So what is the problem here? Let's analyze what the loop is doing. So the index will start in zero and then it will keep going while the index is less or equal to the list size, which in this case is 3. So this means the index will start with 0, then 1, then 2, and last 
it will take value 3. And since there is no item number 3 in the array, it will return the array index out of bound exception. So how can we fix this? Changing the stopping condition of the loop. So we can say that we will keep running the loop while the index is only less than 3. And this will mean 0, 1, and 2. This will be one way. Another way will be saying that the index should be less or equal to the size minus 1, which is more or less the same thing. The important thing here is making sure your index doesn't try to access items that don't exist in the array. All right, so let's run the program again. And also we got rid of the exception. Another way to avoid this error is using the for each syntax, which looks something like this. First, the type of the item in the collection, so in this case, stream. Then the variable that holds the item. Then column, and then the collection over which we want to loop. And using this syntax, our code will go through every item in the loop. However, we don't need to manage the index. So this is also a really good way to avoid the array out of bound exception. All right, let's see another example. In this case, we are gonna loop over the characters. So I have this code snippet right here, which is gonna count the number of times the character A appears in this stream. So this is quite straightforward, so let's run it. And there it is, array index out of bound exception. So let's examine the loop and the stopping condition. And as you can see, the problem is similar to the problem we have seen before. The loop should stop as soon as the index is equal or above the size of the list. So let's change that. And let's run it again. Um, also that works and we got rid of the exception. Amazing, so we reached the end of this tutorial and um, to summarize we have seen what the error in array index out of bound means and a few ways to avoid this exception. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.